ओके सो टुडे विल डिस्कस सिटी परफ्यूजन स्कैन बेसिकली व्हेन वी यूज इट तो फर्स्टली इट इज यूज्ड इन दो सिनेरियोस इन व्हिच योर विंडो पीरियड इज नॉट इन इस्टिमिक स्टोर यू डोंट नो हाउ मच इज द विंडो पीरियड लाइक इन वेक अप स्टोर यू हैव द फैमिली हैज सीन द पेशेंट नॉर्मल व्हाइल गोइंग टू स्लीप एंड इन द मॉर्निंग दे फेल्ट दैट दिस पेशेंट इज अवेक बट um it is not moving leaves for slurring of speech has developed and the patient has now come up with stroke features so you don't know how much is the actual area damage and how much is the penumbra penumbra means that area of the brain which if we perceive timely can be salvageable so in those dilemma type of situation whether it's a recent stroke I means suppose a patient slept at 10 am uh, 10 pm normally and wake up at 6 am with stroke so so we don't know whether the stroke has developed at 11 pm 2 am in the night 4 pm 4 am in the morning or just before waking up so in those situations we do a cerebral perfusion scan so i will not talk very technical terms uh, technical things about it we'll try to explain you in a manner so that when you get a ct perfusion scan report you are at least able to identify what is going on with this part of the brain at least you will be able to read so dr benjamin is with us can you come here So this is cerebral perfusion scan image. You can see four terms here. CBV means cerebral blood flow. CB sorry, cerebral blood volume. CBV means cerebral blood volume. CBF means cerebral blood flow. MTT means mean transient time, and TTP means time to peak. So what they do is suppose suppose uh, we start in RBC starts its journey here. Means blood is flowing here and RBC starts. the journey and so how much blood is going through this part of the brain is cerebral blood volume so you can see here the, on the scale it is blue bluish means zero blood flow means in this portion of the brain the blood volume is almost zero so this portion of the brain is not having any blood flow in the blood volume now in cbv flow flow we are testing the flow you can see compared to this part of the brain the green portion means cerebral blood flow is fine but this portion of the brain is on the scale of zero that means cerebral blood flow in this part of the brain is uh, not good so we have low blood volume here in this part of the brain no blood flow in this part of the brain now we see the mean transient time means suppose your rbc starts here how much time is take to traverse this whole portion of the brain so now you can see mean transient time this portion of the brain is in the blue shade means on the scale it is high while other portion of the brain is yellow greenish means in the screen means the higher the uh, time uh, uh, time here means mean transient time is high means the blood flow is very low we have seen here and the rbc is taking very large amount of time to pass through this part of the brain means blood flow is very very less so it is already damaged now time to peak how much time is taking to peak the uh, blood flow so you can see here some portions are blue okay so blue means time to peak is high means again the blood flow is less in this area it's taking very high time but some areas are showing red so there is a patchy involvement means some portion uh, time take, uh, taken to peak is small so some portion is, is having supply but it is in the range where uh, time taken to peak is not uh, not so much but you have patchy areas of blue also mixed with that means this is that portion where neither there is volume is reaching neither flow is reaching the mean transient time is also very high and time to peak is also very high so uh, by uh, comparing all these four this patient is not having a good penumbra and even if you reperfuse this patient uh, the chances are that this patient will not recover and uh, high chance of reperfusion injury and the patient will not have benefit from reperfusion therapy so compare we uh, look backward by comparing this scan this patient has developed stroke back in the night not recent one in the morning so this is how ct perfusion scan uh, helps to um, uh, uh, guide our decisions now i'll go back and read these ter terms in on your book or on the google or the net uh, what are cbv what is cbf what is mtt and what is ttp 
I also don't know very much technical things about this, but at least we should have a, some idea about what is CPV and what is cerebral perfusion scan and how to read it.